Is there a way to get more bang for your buck simply by changing the platform you make your booking on? Let's bring in who other than Monica Petrelli who says, yes, sorry. Oh. There's an option, right? Out there, Monica, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, you know, for anybody who's ever gotten lost down a internet rabbit hole looking for a great hotel deal, a new, may, a new study may not only save you the time spent doing this, but a little bit of cash, too. Insure My Trip looked at 950 hotels in 19 cities around the globe and it compared prices on Expedia, Hotels.com, Booking.com, and also on hotels' individual websites. So according to the results, Hotels.com, they had the best prices. Uh, but just barely, Expedia was right behind them and booking directly with a hotel, just $6 more on average. Now, booking.com, a little bit more expensive, about $30 more per night. So as you can see here on the percentages on the right, each time that these um, different uh, websites had the best results, this ad obviously adds up to a lot more than 100%. And that's because a lot of these websites, they publish the same rates. Now, this really is not surprising, especially given that Hotels.com and Expedia, they're part of the same group, Expedia Group. It also operates Travelocity, Hotwire, Orbitz, and Cheap Tickets. Its biggest competitor is Booking Holdings, which operates Booking.com, Priceline, Agoda, and Kayak. Now, prices among brands within the same company can vary, um, but this study found that in seven of the 19 cities that were analyzed, hotels and Expedia, again, same company, they had the exact same published rates. And overall, worldwide, the average rates between these two companies varied by just 27 cents. So it's something to keep in mind the next time you're booking a hotel. So a lot of window dressing. I think so. I think it's good to understand uh, the, the corporate entities involved here so that you're not going around in circles when you're, when you're looking online. But you should be putting in the hard yards and going and searching on these aggregators as opposed to jumping over to the hotels. N not necessarily. So I think the hotels have made a lot of um, headway in the last few years trying to get some of that business back and directly booking. And so, like, I, you know, here, $6 more on average. And I spoke to somebody from, um, it was an Indian hotel, one of the Four Seasons properties, who said that they take parity very seriously. Um, and in fact, they said on this Four Seasons website, when you book, not only will it show you how much you're paying directly with them, but it'll also pull up these types of websites. So they want to be very clear that you can book with them and trust that the price is as good as you can get anywhere else. Is there a geographic angle to it as well, city-wise? There is. Some cities showed a bigger discrepancy. Honolulu, if you're going there, you may want to price, uh, look oh, around on the internet. Close home. Close <laughs> home. <laughs> no. Asia, Asia actually, less than $10. So okay. um, the, the, the different, four different Asian uh, cities were looked at and um, very little price differences uh, in Bangkok and places like Macau. So 